Hello folks, this is Pappy, William J. Outdoor World. We're coming out here again, January, trying to catch some big blue cats, or I'll take a big flathead. Good overcast day, we've got south-southwest winds. Don't have a lot of bait, but I'm going to try to catch some as I go. I brought along a little light pole and some small perch hooks and see if I can catch some bait sitting here while I'm fishing for catfish. Every now and then we get a school of fish coming underneath us, so maybe I'll get lucky and pick up a few of them or one big one that I can cut up for bait. Anyway, stay with us and uh, we'll get right back with you just as soon as we get a, a hit. Okay, folks, looks like I finally got a, a decent one on here. And he is a puller. Hopefully I can land him. Cause he will be something to look at. He is bending this die with beef stick like he is a beefy one. You don't have to ask where's the beef. He'd be right here. It's about time. It's been all day and all I've caught is two little old dinks. And I know where I'm fishing. This is a good spot, folks. Woo. Come on, baby. Come to Pappy. Come here. Are right, they saying Germany coming to here? Woo! Don't go underneath that boat. Come on up here. I want to make a movie star out of you. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, I ain't excited. It's about time. I am pumped to the max. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I want to thank the good Lord for this. Amen, amen, amen. Come on. Come on. Swim in here, baby. Come on. <laughs> now, that's what I'm talking about, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This is a decent little old fish. Um, at least 40, maybe 45 or 50. <laughs> <Woo -wee. sighs> man, man, man. You're not going to believe this. I didn't catch him in the river. I am fishing in the river, but this one here I threw up with what would normally be the bank and about 35 feet of water. I'm sitting over 55 feet of water. And uh, I said, man, I've got to try something different. I've got one on that bank, one on this one over here, one out in the middle, one way over here, and another way over here. And after about, well, this is a different setup. Been here about an hour. And I pull this one here up. Let me get my hand socks on and see if I can get him unhooked and make a sure enough movie star out of it. I've been using cut bait because I haven't had any bait hardly to work with at all. <sighs> Seven odd tail hooks. And instead of opening my reel to let him run, I just uh, locked it in like you do the fish on the bottom old style with these tail hooks. Man, come on out of there. He is some kind of hook. He wasn't going nowhere. stuck good. Can't complain about those tails now. I've missed some big fish this year twice. Really big ones. One was on a circle hook and I figured him to be a big old flathead because they got such big jaws. And the other one 
broke 50 pounds this liter like it was nothing. Now, oh. <laughs> what do you think? Ah, he's biting my thumb. What do you think about this bad boy? Can y'all see him? This is a pig, folks. He might go 50, maybe a little bit more. We'll uh, get him home and weigh him up. Now, I got a word from our sponsor here, JMJ Outdoor. We've got somebody that wants to put their their two cents in on it. And uh, let me see if I can have him talk to you for just a minute. So just hold on one second. Okay, I told you a word from our sponsor. This is one of our sponsors here. This is Salt Fisher. Hey, John. That's what you can be doing instead of freezing up there in Tennessee. <laughs> he told you to get off your rear end and get out there and go fishing, John. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see y'all a little later. Well, folks, I've had enough for today. I'm ready to go home and eat some more shrimp and chicken gumbo. I wound up catching just three fish today, two little old dinks and one decent one. I haven't got to wait yet, but uh, as soon as I get home, I'll weigh him up and let you know what he weighs. And uh, we did enjoy ourselves. It was overcast all day, got south wind blowing, and it's only in the 40s, so it's very comfortable to fish in. And remember, this is Pappy, JMJ Outdoors. If you love the outdoors, come and pay us a visit at jmjoutdoor.com. You will love what you can see there. We have many parts of our forum, all for archery, photography, hunting, uh, fishing. You name it, we, we will do it. NASCAR, you'll enjoy yourself. So come on over there, JMJ Outdoor World. Dot com and uh, sign up, register, and become a part of the family there. We'll see you later. And see, it's, it's saying it's recording right there. Okay. Press the bottom? No, the red button. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Okay, here we go. Yee! <laughs> I don't want to me in the face. He's, He's still way alive. <laughs> We're going to let him hang here, air dry for a little bit, let him catch his breath. Folks, he only weighed 42. <laughs> he shrunk. The water shrunk him. He felt like he was 50. Pulled like he was 60. <laughs> but you know, that's what happens when you take him out of the water. They shrink. <laughs> Once again, this is Pappy at JMJ Outdoors. And Nama for.